It's the most expensive race in the nation, and right now, North Carolina voters say if the election was held today, they would vote this way. Democratic challenger Cal Cunningham gets 45 percent. Senator Tom Tillis gets 44 percent, with 11 percent still undecided. That puts the candidates in a statistical dead heat in a race that could have a big impact on which party ends up with control in the Senate. CBS 17's Russ Bowen is digging deeper to find out what's at stake for both parties. Not since five-term Republican Jesse Helms has anyone been able to hold that same North Carolina U.S. Senate seat for more than one term. Tom Tillis wants to break that cycle by being reelected. And what Cal's proposing is unsustainable. Attacking my position because he has none. Tillis, who served as the Speaker of the North Carolina House of Representatives, and Cunningham, who served one term in the U.S. Senate, are in the middle of one of the most expensive and contested Senate races in the country. The polls have shown a consistent lead for Cal Cunningham, the but that lead is tightened after revelations of an extramarital affair. A CBS 17 Emerson poll now has the race at a statistical tie. This campaign is not about my personal life, and I appreciate your question. The campaign is about the people of North Carolina. But Tillis has faced his own challenge after he attended the Rose Garden ceremony to announce the nomination for Supreme Court justice and was later diagnosed with COVID-19. As Republicans don't want to lose control and Democrats Democrats are trying to take it away. This one race could be the decider. Russ Bowen, CBS 17 News.